Hello, my lovely viewer. You are welcome again to Ubloni Channel 1. At this channel, I break down complex electrical concepts and make them very simple to understand. So please, if you are interested in knowing more about electrical engineering, kindly do well to subscribe and stay connected. So in this video, I'll be talking about installation of solar PV system. All right, so the moment we mention solar PV system, the first thing that comes to mind is the solar panel. Yes, and that is because the solar panel is a basic component when it comes to the solar PV system. But there are other things that come together with the solar panel to give you that useful power that you need to power your appliances either at home or at your workplace. All right, so exactly, solar panels get energy from the sun and convert that energy into electricity. But then, in what form is this electricity that is generated from the solar panel? And then, how usable is the raw form of this generated electricity? Well, we shall soon find out. All right, so this video is the beginning of a series of videos I'll be doing on the installation of solar PV system. And by the end of the series, you should be able to gather enough knowledge about solar PV installation to be able to put up your own solar power system to power your home appliances whenever the grid is off. Because this is the first video in the series of videos I'll be doing on the topic, I'll use this particular video to give a general overview of what the solar PV system is made up of and the components that need to be put together to produce usable and reliable electricity from the sun to be able to power your home appliances. All right, so most of us know that in the solar PV system, we actually get electricity from the sun. But then the electricity that is generated from the solar panels is a DC voltage or direct current voltage. And this voltage has to be converted either into a stable DC voltage to supply DC voltage appliances, or it would need to be inverted into an AC voltage or alternating current voltage to be able to power alternating current loads. All right, so we have loads that work on AC. AC means alternating current. And then we also have loads that work on DC. DC means direct current, but usually, the appliances we use at home for which we may need a backup supply or a standby supply from the solar to power, most of these appliances use alternating current to work. And so the direct current that is generated from the solar panel cannot directly make our home appliances to work. This means that if we are using appliances that are designed to work on direct current, then it means that we can supply the power that we get from the solar panels directly to those appliances. But then, on the condition that the voltage and the power rating of the appliances exactly matches the voltage and power rating of the solar panel. However, in real life situations, even if you are using DC appliances, you still need a DC to DC converter to convert the DC that is generated from the solar panel into a stable DC that will be absorbed or that will be consumed by the load. All right, so as you can see here, this is a solar powered lamp. So it has its own solar panel. This panel generates electricity during the day when the sun is up. But we all know that we only need artificial light in the night. So if we install this to give us light in the night, meanwhile, in the night, this solar panel will not be producing any power. So in this package you are seeing here, in this small system, you have the panels all right, but there are also batteries inside this lamp. And what the batteries do is that they store the electricity that is produced by the panel during the day. And then in the night, when this panel will no longer produce any electricity, the batteries will now discharge the energy stored in them to power this light. So in simple terms, there is a rechargeable battery in here 
and there is a controller that controls the charging and the discharging of the battery and also that converts or controls the light output of this lamp by regulating the amount of DC voltage required for this lamp to work properly. Alright, so here there is the panel, then we have a rechargeable battery with a charging controller and then a converter that will regulate the DC output voltage to the lamp. So during the day, the panel generates electricity to charge the rechargeable batteries. Then in the night, the rechargeable batteries discharge the energy they stored during the day to power the lamp and the cycle continues. Rechargeable batteries can be charged, discharged, recharged, used, and recharged again. That is why we need rechargeable batteries here. This is basically to explain what happens in the solar PV system. During the day, the panels produce electricity, and that electricity can either be converted to power DC appliances or it can be inverted by the use of an inverter to power AC appliances. Then, if you intend to use that system in the night or when the sun is not showing, you must include rechargeable batteries. So when the sun is up, the electricity that is generated from the solar panels will now charge the rechargeable batteries so that when the sun is no more, the energy stored in the batteries will now be discharged to power the appliances. So we need the panel, we need the batteries, and then we also need charge controllers. And as I said earlier, the charge controller controls the charging and the discharging of the battery. Usually, most of the appliances we use at home are designed to work on alternating current voltage. And if the loads that you are supplying power to from your solar PV system is the usual load that we use at home, then you will need to invert the DC voltage that is produced from the solar panels into an alternating current voltage that can be used to supply your home appliances. To be able to do that, you need what we call the inverter to invert the DC voltage into an AC voltage. So this is a general overview of what makes up the solar system. You will need the panels, you will need the rechargeable batteries, you will need the converters or the inverters, and then you also need the controllers. All right, so I'll end this episode here and continue the rest in another video. So as part of my next video, I'll be showing samples of the items I mentioned in this video. I mean the components that make up a solar PV system. And in that same video, I'll demonstrate how to put those components together correctly in a solar PV system. All right, so thank you very much for watching this video. And if you have really learned something new from this video, kindly like, share, and subscribe to stay connected. See you in my next video.